Hey guys, welcome to my Monday Night Live. So as you guys are jumping on, definitely say hello. I see a few already on here. Looks like Becky and Dawn. So thank you for joining me this evening. And as you saw um, in the title, we are going to be working with Fusion Milk Paint tonight. So last week on Wednesday, we dabbled with um, Sweet Pickens. And let's see here. Oh, hello, Susan. So as you know, we are, I am going to be carrying, or I do carry now both lines. And um, I had worked with Sweet Pickens a little bit and I loved it, but it had a huge, a huge amount. So I was so excited to dabble with that last week and we used artichoke. So I will show you like, this is like one of the finishes. Um, this is also some other chippy goodness that we got from the artichoke. Oh, wrong way. So hello. Wow, we have lots of you guys on. Woohoo. Thanks for joining. Um, so one tip that I did um, hear from a viewer on Wednesday, and I am going to try it. So um, if you guys remember, we painted this drawer. I have not yet finished it. So, oh, shoot. That's right. I was going to go on my phone and click do not disturb. Somebody told me that tip too. Next time. We'll do it on Wednesday. Um, so basically... I had applied white, the white oil wax to this, and then I wiped it off right away. So the wax gets in all of like the crevices and then you wipe it off. Well, you're supposed to leave it on, I guess, for like 10 minutes. Um, so I did not do that. That was the first thing. The other thing is I applied it with paper towel and I've heard that you should be applying it with like a chip brush. So that is the other thing too. So live and learn as I experiment with it. So um, from what I, this is like um, sweet pickings from what I understand is like a true milk paint. Although Fusion is saying that it's a true milk paint as well. The differences are uh, sweet pickings only last for like the most 24 hours. And according to Fusion, it lasts for several days. So we will, you know, we'll see. All right. So if you guys remember during Cranberry Fest, I had painted these. I painted them apothecary. And tonight what I did is I sealed them. And they had a little like metal piece that was popping off the top here. I ripped that off. And I'm going to make them into more of like, um, kind of, I mean, you could put candles on them, but I'm thinking more of like putting a pot or something or housing something else. So we are going to paint those and we are going to use hotel robe. So a white. So that is what we're going to use. All right. So let's see who is all on. We have Kathy. Um, she says, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I did. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was up north, relaxing, um, just enjoying all the up north uh, scents and, you know, all the smells and all that good stuff. Um, let's see here. We have Gina from California. Free Spirit says hello or greetings for all. Valerie's on. Hello, hello. Deb says, good evening from Northeast Ohio where six to 10 inches of that white stuff is going to fall to me. No, don't say it. Say it ain't so. <laughs> we got a dusting. So you guys on, okay, so I, I ended up getting all my Christmas tree boughs. So if you guys watched my, I had a reel that I did. I got all my boughs, my berries, and all my, um, just everything I needed and brought them home. Uh, I'm like, okay, it, it was just, I was trying to wait for a warmer day and all, I finally heard on the news that we were going to get snow between Sunday, yeah, on Sunday. So between Saturday and Sunday. So I ended up getting outside on Saturday and all my pots, because it had rained here and then it got cool, were like 
I would say like rock salad, but I could not stick anything in there. So for each pot, I had to go inside, boil a kettle of water, dump it into my container to thaw it out, and then I could decorate it up. So I was boiling pot after pot. It got it got old, you guys. So I did the two by the back door. I did the three in the front. I did the window box and I cleaned up the driveway and then it was dark. And so I, I did get a little bit of a later start because I wanted it to be a little bit warmer out there. And um, then it snowed. And so this week, I think on Thursday, someday dirt, like midweek, we're supposed to warm up a bit. And now I'm gonna get the two by the garage so hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get those done. Um, Stephanie says, hello. Joan says, hello. Nancy, hello, hello. Uh, Regina. Um, so we have initials. SM, hello from Paris, Ontario, Canada. Welcome back. Oh, hello. Um, Kim says, hello, everyone. Um, Patricia says, hi. Pat from Whitewater here. Awesome. Hey, Anne. All right. So Anna is from my area. So she knows the weather. Um, tell me, Anne, is it going to warm up enough like by Thursday or Friday or maybe the weekend that I can actually get the two containers in the front of the garage done? And then I will have all my containers done. I'll be fine. And then I have to get a tree, you guys. I was going to get a tree too, but my whole family was gone and it wasn't the same. We always get our tree together. My husband's like, go get it. I'm like, I'm not going by myself. It's like our tradition. So I didn't do it. It was cold today. Wednesday will be warmer. Okay. Um, oh no. Julie says, good evening from cold Pentwater, Michigan. I know. I swear, as I get older, you guys, this cold weather is for the birds. I can see why people like to go down south for the winter. I never understood it because I love our winters too, but I don't know. As I'm getting older, it's it's getting a little bit more difficult. So, all right, let's get tackling this project because I definitely want these um, to be painted. Uh, it is done the exact same way. So basically one part warm water, one part of the actual milk paint. Oh gosh. Nancy says possible snow on Sunday for the Packers game. Okay. <laughs> so I better get moving. I better have multiple kettles of boiling water and dump it and melt all the snow out of my containers, I guess. Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> Then Susan says, the cold weather is why we live in Georgia. Oh, <laughs> maybe I'll be moving down by you, <laughs> Susan. We can be neighbors. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get started. So last week, what I used is I had a couple of these um, for my uh, protein containers, and I just got rid of some. So let's, I'm going to bring you guys. Oh, Susan says you should. All right. I am going to bring you guys down. Oh, let's see here. All right. Can you there? All right. Yep. Okay. All right. So you guys can hear me. You can see me. And then we are definitely going to use this because this helps with the crackle, which I really like. All right, so what you need is a container. You need a whisk or something. I've noticed the whisk is fine, so I'm gonna use that. Hello, Corrine. Uh, Joan says, I hate the cold and snow, but I couldn't move away from my family. I know, I hear ya. All right, so what we're gonna do is one part um, water to one part milk paint, and then we're gonna start stirring. And we're going to put the water in first. And if you guys were with me on Wednesday, I did two of these to two parts of the milk paint and it was way too much. So that was with the sweet picking. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do one part to one part and we're going to see how far it goes. If I have to mix up more, then I'll mix up more. Um, yep. Simply mix one part water followed by one part milk 
milk paint powder with a blender paint mixer, even by hand for one minute for best results. Let the paint mixture sit for 10 minutes before mixing again, ensuring all the pigments and ingredients have completely dissolved. Okay, let's do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Free Spirit asked me, Sonnet, how many hours a day do you work on creating your many projects? Well, I get up in the morning. Here are these, this one. Um, I work on, well, I work on all kinds of stuff, but I, I don't know. Should I keep track? Um, kind of a lot of the stuff, what I do, I, I don't really feel like it's work. Okay. Hold on. I got to concentrate really quick, but I get up in the morning and I work out and then I come home, I have my coffee and then I try to start working by seven. So I try to act like I am at um, like I did, I was at like a, my normal job is what I, and I work for all day. And now like Mondays are Mondays and Tuesdays are my longer days because I do my live on Monday night. And then Tuesday I meet with my gals um, my membership group. So we meet every Tuesday at six and we typically are together till eight. So those are my two long nights. But then after that, hmm, I got one of those small hand mixtures to froth my milk for coffee at CVS for $9.99. It would work great for mixing that paint. Yeah. All right. So it says a minute. I'm making candy canes using trim molds. Ooh, I paint antique and put gold gilding on them. Fun. All right. So I feel like it's been 612 forever. Um, but yeah, so Sunday night into Monday is when I create my Monday video. I started on Sunday evening. I always just do come up with ideas and brainstorm. All right. So that is that. And then I'm going to use a little chip brush. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit, but then, um, but great question. Probably a lot more than what I think, because I don't think this is work. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Oh no, Gina says she has to go. That's too bad. Um, but yeah, so if you guys remember these, these were like wood and they were, I loved how ornate they were. Um, so I painted them apothecary and I was going to just, um, distress them back or do something like that. And then they've been sitting in my finish pile. And I never finished them. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to leave. I'm going to seal the apothecary and just leave it as is. And you can see like there's some chippy and stuff. And it looks like even here I got a little bleed through, which I was not expecting because it's in just one spot. But we're just going to go ahead and we're going to paint with this. So this seems kind of thin, but I did one to one. I didn't wait 10 minutes either. Um, does anybody else have any questions while we're waiting for this to thicken up? I'm gonna, okay, I'm just gonna do a little test. Yeah, I think it definitely needs to thicken up. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. As I keep painting. Yeah, I think it needs to thicken up and then I keep painting, right guys? Um, I just don't want drippies. So I'm just gonna paint this down here. And 
The one thing I noticed right away is it is a little different than, um, it's a little dif more different than the sweet pickings. And maybe because I didn't wait either. Well, this is dry and it doesn't look like it cracked at all. So let's see, do you have your Christmas tree up? I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out of the garage tomorrow. Um, no, I do not have my Christmas tree up yet. I, um, I actually, um, Oh, it looks like your computer mouse is the same color as the candlesticks. It's pretty darn close. Um, I love turquoise. And so, yes, um, it it is very close. I think this weekend we're going to get our Christmas tree, you guys. So that should be fun. I'm excited. Lynn says, hi, Lynn from Texas. Hello, Lynn. Okay, I think I'm going to try to thicken this up a hair. I, I wonder if I didn't put enough in. Even though I did do a one-to-one, -one, you guys, I'm just going to do a little bit more. And maybe I'm being impatient. Yeah. I'm sure it's because I'm being impatient. All right. Was it oil wax? It looks like, was it oil wax? Lynn asked me, was it oil wax? <clears throat> the X, oh, that's extra bond, oh darn. Um, La on Wednesday, I did use oil wax on my, um, I used two different oil waxes on, I used the dark oil wax on one of the projects, and then I used the white oil wax on another. And here is the, the dark one. And I, I the chippy finish. And then I use the white on the white oil wax on the drawer. All right. Well, I am just going to start. One time I left my milk paint sit way too long before I used it and it started to get up and I, and it started to get up. It was weird. Okay. Yeah. So I, it's, this is a little different than, I can already tell it's just a tad different than um, the Sweet Pickens. Because the Sweet Pickens, well, it looks like, I think that actually thickened up a lot quicker than this. And this didn't, didn't think, thicken up as fast. And you guys kind of know how, well... I'm a little impatient because I'm on a live. If I wasn't on a live, I probably wouldn't be as impatient. I would be waiting the full 10 minutes and watch. After the 10 minutes, I bet you it, it thickens up just perfect. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of work on this. Did you guys all have a good Thanksgiving? Oh, patience on it. <laughs> yes, Valerie. I need patience. You're right. Um, I always, because I only feel, I always feel like we only have, um, you know, an hour together, even though I know that it can go over. Oh, yes, it was sweet pickings. Okay. Oh, it gelled up. Yep. I think when that happens, what I've read too is with the sweet pickens, I think you can add just a little bit more water if it gels up like that. So. All right.
Yeah, it even, I feel like it's thickening up a little bit. Okay. I want to take... You're supposed to let it sit for 10 minutes. <laughs> I know. Why is it called milk paint? Is there powdered milk in it? Um, that is a really good question. I believe there is some kind of milk in it of some sort because it, it will, it spoils. Okay. So I, like I said, I have not used this before. So I think one thing I did notice is when I used the sweet pickens and I heated it up like this, it crackled and this did not yet. Um, maybe a milk enzyme. Yeah, I don't, well, this, um, I don't have the package in here, so I don't really know, but maybe Kareem, maybe a milk enzyme. Oh, Corrine says that even though it gelled up, it used it. She used it anyways on her drawers for uh, my craft supplies. It was good texture. Ooh, good to know. Um, Julie says, "Do you have your booths ready for Christmas? Do you have any more craft fairs?" I do not have any more craft fairs, and I feel like my booths are somewhat ready for Christmas. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of behind the eight ball this year. I don't know. I, you guys, um, with adding, you know, building my, my boot or my wall and adding these products, I just, I feel behind. I don't, but that's okay. I mean, are, do I ever always feel totally on top of it? Probably not. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit right to the top here. Okay. All right. So yeah, this is definitely a bit different than than the sweet pick is. I can definitely say that. So let's start with this. Um, Deb says it's a milk based paint. Yes. Well, it's not like you haven't been busy. You'll get it all done. Yes, I will. <laughs> I always do, right? I always get it all done. Okay. So it is thickening up a little bit now. I, yep. See, I, if I would have just waited just a tad longer. Okay, so um, it should be like the consistency of like a melted milkshake, which it is. So this is much better. All right. Yeah, I think I'm always busy, you guys, though. <laughs> I think I'm always busy, but that's okay. That is okay. Okay. Makes me happy when I just am not just sitting still doing nothing. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Lynn says, yes, we can hear you. You're one of the few YouTube stars whose audible is great. Oh, thank you. All right. Okay, so... Well, you guys, I've had where I've actually muted you guys and I've done all kinds of stuff. But you guys tell me right away when I when I have malfunctions. All right. So that's looking good. 
Okay. All right, let me... Oh, my little sweet peas home. You guys, I had a slight meltdown today because, you know, she's 16 now and she's driving and doing all the things. And um, up, my mom shared a memory with me from eight years ago when we still had our shop. And the memory was we were watching the Christmas parade, which always ran right in front of our our shop and she was sitting there with my nephews and it was from eight years ago and she was just this little tiny peanut and uh she just was so sweet it was like i would always tell her every day stay little forever don't grow up and guess what guys she didn't listen to me <laughs> she's growing up oh makes me sad it was when she like loved to, to snuggle and now she's 16 and she doesn't want to snuggle <laughs> so all right free spirits is busy is great and inspiring danger says hi sonnet and everyone haven't been on the lives lately went to myrtle beach for thanksgiving and it was great and really needed time for my family now have to look forward to Christmas. Oh, Corinne says, oh, she's adorable. Yeah, she is such a, she is a sweetie. For the most part. <laughs> she has her moments, you guys. So, but yes, she's. And. All right. So I think. Okay, so. Maybe I should have waited just a hair longer. This is looking good. I'm gonna just paint the top here. I'll show you. Well, there's kind of a glare, but you really don't need much. So this definitely goes far too, just like the sweet pickems. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna just dry this a bit. So she got her license. Yes, she did get her license, you guys. She got her license. Claudia says, hi, Sonnet. Are you coming to California for Debbie's event? I, I'm assuming you're talking about the one in January, the, her event in January. I don't think so. I'm going to be really busy in January. I know. <laughs> you're but lots going on in January. So no, I won't be able to, but it sounds like a great time with um, the painter Lee and everyone that is coming. All right. Let me finish drying this. Danger says, it's always hard to let them get older, still treating my girls like they are children. <laughs> and they keep saying, remember, I'm growing with kids. They are 32 and 28. Oh, that's awesome. Um, Corrine asked if I used the Painterly yet. I have not. My order just, I got notification just a little while ago that it shipped today. So I'm super excited, but we will do um, a live with it once I receive it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I almost just tipped that over. Um, Lynn says, what is oil wax? I will show it to you in just a sec here. I just... All right, I'm gonna let that dry just a hair and then I'm gonna show you this. 
So the oil wax is, it's a liquid and it's in like, um, so it's like a liquid form and it's a wax. So what is, so once you, um, apply the milk paint down, so like this is sweet pickens. Um, so once you have your finish just how you want it, you want to seal the milk paint and you can use the oil wax to seal it. So you, um, what I would recommend doing, like I did on my Wednesday live, I just dribbled it on, but, um, somebody gave me a tip of using a chip brush to, to brush it on, leave it sit for like 10 minutes and then wipe it off after that. So, I'm still going to play around with it a little bit more, but um, that's what it is. Are the top of those candlesticks concave? Well, that is interesting, Joan, because this one is like flat. I don't know if you can. It's kind of, there's like a, it's like almost flat. This one <laughs> is kind of a little, has a little bit of a concaveness to it. So I thought that was a little odd that they were, they're the same candlestick, but yet they're a little different. So I'm going to dry this. <clears throat> this has a really flat finish. So this one that we're using today is the Fusion Milk Paint. So I tried last week, we worked with um, the Sweet Pickens milk paint. And then this week we're working with the Fusion milk paint. So I just wanted to compare the two and see which one, you know, see how they both um, reacted or both um, how, they, uh, were, how they work. I have never used the Fusion milk paint. So... Um, I decided to go move forward with, forward with the fusion paint line cause I loved it. And then I w wanted to offer a milk paint and I went with sweet pickens. And then I saw that the fusion has many different colors. So I thought, well, I can do both. All right. All right, so I just wanted to see if I missed any comments. I didn't. Okay. And then I think just like, I'm just going to finish. This one seems like it dries a bit faster, though, than... The sweet pickens, maybe. Okay, that's looking good. Yeah, I like that. Just want to get good coverage here. Did you get all your paint samples painted? That's a bunch of <laughs> fun work. Actually, I did not. I still have 10 more colors to do and I have all the metallics to paint yet. So I have 20 more. <laughs> and it, I do enjoy it when I don't have a lot going on. I mean, it would be enjoyable if I did not have a lot going on. But I have... A lot going on. And I'm trying to figure out how I am going to put, oh, here, I'm just going to dry this really quick. <clears throat> how I'm going to display the sweet pickens in my booth. So I'm really looking forward to getting that in um, my booth. There's a little, because this is a, 
a little bit more there. I just, it has a really nice finish to it, but it's because it's a little bit more watery. You just have to make sure that there, you don't have any drips, which I'm doing a fairly good job about that. Oh, Danger says that she's seen others use sweet pickens, but not this one. I haven't um, either. So, like, I didn't even know that Fusion offered a milk paint until I started offering the Fusion paint. And I was like, well, if I offer the paint, I might as well offer the milk paint, too. Fuchsia is an acrylic paint. Do you think their milk paint has acrylic paint in it? I don't know. It is it is a little different. I think it has a different base to it. I watched a video. Um, the owner demo demonstrated it. And it sounds like a guy that they knew, he actually created the formula for them. Which is kind of cool. So the one thing I did notice is that because they said it doesn't spoil after um, like the regular milk paint goes bad after uh, like within 24 hours, the sweet pickens, theirs does not. You can keep it in a cool location and that you can use it still. And so... I was gonna work. I was gonna try that as well, <laughs> but um, I was gonna see here. It doesn't have the ingredients on this. Sometimes, though, <clears throat> the ingredients aren't on the small one, but they're on the bigger bag. So I'm gonna check the big bag too. All right, so I just want to move this. And then what we'll do is we'll start working on the bigger one. So you can, from what I understand too, or what I read or watched on her video, you can wet distress this. You can do, um, you can sand it just like you can with the sweet pickens. So we'll try that. Let's see here. We have, oh, we still have plenty of time. <clears throat> All right. Do you have to put some kind of top coat on it or does it have have a, its own top coat. So with the milk paint, you do have to seal it. Um, it, it definitely um, needs to be sealed. And just like with the sweet pickens as well, you do have to seal it. The one thing <clears throat> that she demoed um, Fusion, the owner of Fusion, she actually painted a wall with it. So you can paint you can use this as like a wall paint as well, which I thought was very interesting. Um, so I was like, huh. And um, she also talked about like staining decks with it. And um, uh, my friend Tara, she actually stained her deck. So I thought, wow, if that, I'm going to see how that works over winter because if you know anything about wisconsin winters guys they're really harsh <laughs> i mean like really harsh so we have a deck up north and i have used all different stains i started off i used this the bear stain which did not work at all and then i actually love sherwin williams and i use the sherwin williams stain and the duck stain 
And then that didn't work either. It peeled. It's like all peeled off. I'm like, it doesn't even look like we stained it. It was beautiful all summer, but then the winter and like our harsh temperatures and stuff. And so um, she talked, the owner of Fusion talked about how you can stain like your deck, your fence. So I'm like, interesting. I'm going to see how how hers holds up, Tara's holds up. And if it holds up well, then I am going to try it up north on my deck. Okay, that looks really good. Just want to make sure I don't have any runs. And then we'll paint the top here. All right, maybe it didn't chip crackle because you said you painted it earlier with apothecary. So maybe the milk paint bonded well to the apothecary made it not crackle. Um, that honestly, I had it with apothecary and then I sealed it. So I sealed it with big top. So maybe, but, and you know, just like with sweet pickens, it reacts very differently depending on the surface. So maybe, but we're gonna, we're gonna, um, Danger says, does that crack like the other one? So she said that if you apply heat, it does crack, but I'm applying heat and it's not cracking. But I'm going to sand it, and I'm going to see how it works after we sand it a bit. I think I'm going to do three coats. Oh, Free Spirit, give Sonic your thumbs up. I know your index finger isn't broken. <laughs> I love it. Oh. I'm going to spin this a tad. I'm going to spin it. I still want. So, you guys, I did put out. Um, I did put my video out. I figured out what went, what's going on. So I upgraded my video quality and I think that's what's slowing down my download and upload speed. So, oh, that might be it, Bobby. She says, in order for it to crack, you probably shouldn't be um, going over it multiple times when you're painting. Okay. That might be it. Okay, so this is two coats. They both have two coats on them now. I'm gonna do a third coat just to get a little. Oh, actually, you know what? It's cra it is cracking right there. It is cracking right there. Oh, it is cracking. I like it. Okay. 
So I think what I'm going to do is a third coat just so I have a little bit better coverage. And it is crack. I don't know if you guys, there is cracking right here and like right in here. So I'm going to do a third coat. So another thing I was thinking, maybe I didn't wait long enough. <laughs> Remember you guys when you told me to have patience and I didn't and I started painting like right away. That could have been the other reason. But so, okay, I just wanted to do three coats because I wanted to have a little bit better coverage um, in some of the areas. Okay, so I'm doing that. Yeah, Danger, um, Sweet Pickens is very, well, I don't want to say temperamental, but it does work very differently on different surfaces. That's what um, I read too, so, and experienced. <laughs> but it's all good. I'm just very excited to try something new and different to play around with. And you guys know how much I love chippiness and cracking and I love all that look. And I think this is a, a great um, new thing to play around with. So I'm very excited. Okay, that looks good. Okay, that looks good. All right, I'm just going to do around the top there. I'm going to not do the very, very top, and now I'm going to just blow dry a bit. Okay, so it is chipping a little bit there. That looks good. All right. <clears throat> so I think a couple things. I think you do need to wait the full 10 minutes. I would definitely do that. Listen to instructions. Don't play us on it. Okay, and then the heat does make it crackle, you guys, so... Okay, I'm really liking this now. I was getting nervous because it wasn't crackling a lot. All right. So it's kind of hard to see, but there is a lot of crackling going on here and here. And there's some right here and then in here. So that does look really good. I really like it. Okay. 
Okay, that looks really good. I'm gonna paint just a little bit. Uh, Michelle says, I'm not used to working the milk paint so much. I'm used to letting it sit and do its thing. Okay. So do you think I'm working it too much is what you're saying? Oh, there's some chippy. I wish that there wasn't such a glare. I'm trying to see if you guys can see it. <laughs> Oh, wrong way. But all right, well that one we're gonna let stand now, and I just wanna try that a little bit. Okay, let's do this one. So Michelle, when you say you're not used to working the milk paint so much, um, you're letting it sit and do its thing. Um, do you let it just sit on the surface and just do its thing is what you're saying? This was actually the perfect quantity, I think, of milk paint that I mixed up for this project. So makes me very happy. Because you should have saw me on <laughs> Wednesday. I don't like to waste anything. So I was painting everything. Um, the uh, artichoke color. Just so that I would use it up. Oh my gosh. Everything got artichoked. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny. Free Spirit says, Sana is a take charge kind of girl. Waiting for paint to dry? Don't think so. Yes, I, you guys. Um, that's why, like, when I warn you to wait until your top coat is completely dry before you put a transfer on, because I have done it so many times where I'm like, it's dry, and it's not. So, yes, I would just highly recommend that. Are you going to dark wax it, show off the crackle? I don't know. What do you guys think we should do? Um, I think we can probably intermix the oil wax and stuff. We can put oil wax on here. So I first, what I think I'm going to do is the paint cracking. Can't tell from here. I know it is kind of hard to tell. On the first one, the paint cracked. It cracked when I took the dryer to it. So. Okay, so it's cracking down here. seems like others brush it on in one direction one sweep then wait haven't tried it myself yes let it dry do a second coat let it dry or you can dry it but even after it's dry it will continue chipping for a while okay good to know so they don't see what bothered me and that maybe i should just let it go is that there was a little bit of like drippiness did they not have that That looks good. Okay. 
Okay, so it's it's definitely chipping on. I think where it chips, you guys, is where there's like I want I don't want to say pooling, but like where there's more of it, like up in here. So I'm going to try to show you guys without, I'm trying to, there's like a glare, so it's kind of hard to show you, but like, <laughs> I'm, all right, can you kind of see it? There's like chipping in here. So there was crackling on this one, and then there was chipping on that one. So that looks good. I'm going to do a little to the top. It looks really good coverage. Yes, there's good coverage too. I like it. I'm just going to do a little bit because I didn't finish the top, the third coat up here. All right, and then I'm just going to quick dry it. Okay, so I want to just make sure there's no, I don't think there's any wet down here. So you can either wet distress it or you can sand it. So I think what I'm gonna try, this is all new for me, you guys, I am going to try and sand it first. <clears throat> and then we're gonna, once I sand it, then we're gonna try to maybe wet distress it. Okay. So it looks like with the sanding, it's kind of even going through. it a lot you guys so do you guys think i should do the dark wax the oil wax i think maybe there's a learning curve for sure the first time i did it i just made a mess oh gosh <laughs> Okay, so Michelle says, in her experience, thicker isn't better. Okay, which I was trying to do thinner. I really was. Okay, that looks good. Oh, I like how like the apothecary is kind of popping through along with um, some of the dark wood from underneath even further. So I like that. Okay. That's looking good. Well, I'm sorry if you guys, if I'm sanding too loud. I know last time somebody said, oh, I don't like it when she sands. We'll do just one and then I can do the other one offline.
Okay. Well, I'm liking that. I love all the crackly, too, like right in here. I'm really liking that. That's all looking really, really good. Okay, you guys are being really quiet. There was a lot of crackle right there. Michelle says, I love the sound of sanding. And I am like, I'm sorry. All of a sudden I'm like, I'm not talking because I'm concentrating you guys. I'm trying to figure out where I want all the sanding. Okay. Okay. So let me wipe this off a bit and I have a huge mess. Yeah, so it's good that I'm going to have to clean this up. Okay, so I added a little bit of distress. I brought it down to some of the bare wood. Some of the apothecary is showing through. There's crackle. So I think what I'm going to do, I am, I'm going to mix, you guys. I'm going to mix and I am going to um, do a little bit of the dark wax. <laughs> when you sand, is it dusty like chalk paint? It's not horrible. There's some dust, like, I mean, there's some dust here, but I, I feel like it's not as bad as chalk paint. I feel like, although my hands, they're a little dirty too. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm going to try to mix the two. I don't know if this is like a faux pas or whatever you want to call it. Like if it's not good. Oh, it's really good. So it's really going into, into it. So I don't know if. All right. Well, we're just going to go all in, guys. I'm just going all in.
Okay. So, I know that I was supposed to leave it on. Tracy says, hey, from the UK, looks great. Thank you. So, I am going to just brush it all on and see what happens. Okay, guys? Oh, it's like really getting into all the nooks and crannies. Actually, it looks, I'm really liking it. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see here. I'm I'm concentrating, guys. So, oh my word, that was a lot of oil wax here. Okay, now I'm just going to get the top here. This is when my husband always says, you do stuff where you haven't tested before, you just do it on a live. I go, yep, I do. Just go live and I just, I just do it. <laughs> oh, my husband's like, you are one brave soul. All right, I'm gonna put a spill or a cap on my spill. And then now I'm gonna just try to get rid of some of this excess. Oh yeah, I really like it. So I think there's a couple areas where I think I need to add a little bit more where it didn't go on as heavy. Oh, I really like that. Oh, that looks so good. So I really like this finish. I was kind of worried because of the dark, but oh, it looks so good. I feel you need a buffing rag, like a microfiber. I would have to agree. <laughs> I think you're absolutely right. I grabbed, um, it's funny that you say that, Corrine, <laughs> uh, because when I worked on Wednesday, I was like, oh, I need that rig that doesn't leave fibers. It's a microfiber. So, yes, I definitely need that. I'm going to have to grab some of those um, from my video. I just had these lying around but you can see all the, the detail it brings out and makes it look just like old, like, oh, so old and, oh my gosh, I love it. You guys, I love it even more than I, I thought I would. I was getting really nervous, actually. I'll be totally honest with you guys. <laughs> so 
I love it. I think it looks awesome. I'm going to move that away from that heat source. I think it looks so old. Oh my gosh. It looks like it's got years and years of age. Wait till you guys see this. <laughs> well, I know you're seeing it, but there's a glare. It does not even do it justice. I'm so impressed. <laughs> I love it. It's bright from light, but looks great. I know it. Um, Okay, Corrine says, I got mine at Harbor Freight, real cheap pack of four to five. That's really good. I'm going to have to. Oh, my gosh. Yes. it. The oil brings out all the detail, but it also, like, ages it just, like, it really makes this look like it's old. I mean, like, really worn and chippy. You know, when I was blow drying it, and I'm like, I can see some cracking. Yes, the oil just goes into like all those grooves and this is really good, you guys. I love it a lot. I love it. Okay. So, oh my gosh, it's 7-12. Nobody told me. <laughs> Here I'm just having so much fun. Okay. Let's go ahead. I'm going to put me back up. Okay. So let's see if I can show you guys a little bit better just so bright in here. Oh my gosh, this looks so good, you guys. It looks so good. I mean, what a difference. Like, I cannot wait to do this on here. <laughs> yes, I'm going to do it right when we get off. All right. Wow. Um, you guys are dropping like flies. But um, yes, it was so fun. I am so excited. I cannot wait to show you guys. I'm going to take photos of that tomorrow. Um, when there's better lighting, but I am going to finish this stick and then I'll have them next to each other. So I'm super excited. Um, Jan says that she loves it like a European. Yes, yes, that's exactly it. It does remind me of a European candlestick. Oh my gosh, you guys, like it just looks oh so good, like so good. So I will have photos for you guys tomorrow. Um, but yes, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it. It was so fun and I went over, but that is okay. All right. Well, I will post pictures. Um, my video is up and um, I'm just going to have to move my schedule up just a hair because with the new um, video that, um, or like the upgrade to my video, I think it's just taking a bit longer because of the quality of the video. So that's okay. All right. Well, thanks, Corrine, for joining me. Thanks, Claudia. Um, and Jan, I appreciate Free Spirit. Thank you all for being here tonight. And we will see you guys on Wednesday. We'll do something real fun on Wednesday as well. I just haven't figured it out yet. But we'll see you then. Bye.